Hey, it's me. Um, quick video to share some projects I've been working on this weekend. Um, first one, this one. It is Beauty Queen, and it's for my niece's um, scrapbook, Amelia. Um, I used my papers by Dovecraft, a hint of pink, the ones I got in the last haul. Um, I used four different ones, and I've just sort of staggered them a little bit. I don't know if you can really see that there. Um, I punched out some little butterflies and I've sprayed them and I've sprayed um, the letters with me candy pink. And this flower was actually um, a hair, hair ball, um, which I've just basically cut. I don't know if you can't really see. Um, cut the bobble off and stuck it on. Um, I take my journaling up on Word, I think it's um, Abbey font, I love that font. I'll put a link on my um, blog, it's actually a free font so you, can not, you just can download it if you want to. Um, and I actually stamped, you can see it stamped the date, a little in the corner there. I've got one of these I got from, and you basically, um, put each letter in the machine and it stamps. Um, I think I got for like three pound or something in uh, Lidl. So next time you know, have a look, see if you can get one. <laughs> Thanks. Um, what else have I got? I was just wanted to quickly show some of the other flowers I got um, on Bubbles. I got this one. I adore this one. It's got lace. I don't know if you can really say that. It's got lace and it's like a a velvety material is really nice so I basically just pulled the bobble off the back um, and these ones I don't know if you can see they're a bit like a carnation in the back um, I pulled them off and I've now got lots and lots of um, flowers which I can use on my next project so the one you like Want and something out of um, accessories, so you just buy a couple and pull them apart, and you've got loads of flowers. So it's quite easy, right? What was my other page? This one. It's um, a bath time one. It's the new edition. <laughs> Mum's just getting um, the papers for this one. Sorry, off the wrong. SCI Penelope's Potpourri, Potpourri, yeah. Um, it's got blink, uh, pinks, blues, blacks, reds. It's mostly flowers, but um, the ones I used on this one were spotty, and I've cut a couple of tags up um, for the journal and stuff. So, ink the edges and blue. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much easy as that one I think this one's five by five and these are two and a quarter by two and a quarter so it's eight by eight so if you want to give that one a go it's quite easy um, my other page is a 12 by 12 which is quite big <laughs> similar design as that eight by eight the the bigger picture and then the little ones all the way around um, I made this hibiscus flower. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, I put the link for the tutorial I found on YouTube. Um, but I was really pleased with this one last night. So, yep, yeah, that's all my pages. And I got that one <coughs> out of this pack, which I got in America. Um, I've no idea who this is by. Just says easy as one, two, three, everyday grid layout. Um, um, just gives you some ideas on the back. Which, uh, this is the one I used. Um, so I did that one first, and I thought I'd make the squares a bit smaller for a um, for the eight by eight one. Um, I've got a little giveaway today. Um, on my last haul, I don't know if you've you seen them, I've got the 
paper pack by Lawrence Lauren Bourne. So I'm going to give that away. That's six by six. And the chipboard to go with it. I have no idea how many pieces in here. Um, but yeah, them two. I'm going to put in a couple of blue runners as well. So um, I'll do the draw on Friday the 17th. So if you just want to leave a message or if you want us to do anything <laughs> or um, you've got any ideas for something for a scrapbook page for us to do yeah just leave us a leave us a comment below so thanks very much guys bye